Watching a two on your side special, Niagara Falls, a tale of two cities. Twelve years ago marked the beginning of the end of any real competition between Niagara Falls, New York and Niagara Falls, Canada. That's when the Falls View Casino opened on the other side of the river. Ted Salsi is the mayor there. Well, this project was a $1 billion commitment by the province of Ontario. And I think that's something that we really are excited about. Uh, you know, when they made that commitment, that was really a major factor. Falls View area has blossomed, and that really made a difference. A big difference. Since the casino opened, every major hotel chain has come to Niagara Falls, Ontario. There are now 16,000 hotel rooms there. That's five times more than on our side of the border. And there are plans for five more hotels to be built. 60% of the city's economy is now based on tourism. And Niagara Falls, Ontario actually has to bus employees in from as far away as Toronto to fill jobs. Unlike Niagara Falls, New York, and its political infighting and lack of focus on tourism, Niagara Falls, Ontario saw the future and threw its arms around it. We're building a new $100 million convention center, which will supplement the 16,000 rooms that we have in the city. So in addition, we have gaming facilities. We have complimentary uh, uh, services that we offer. Uh, we have other entertainment. Uh, we have the, the wine culture now has established itself. We have golf courses. Now compare that with Niagara Falls, New York, which just this month approved the hiring of its first economic development director in years. Across the border, with the casino as the linchpin, Restaurants and shops and other attractions followed. And those who matter most, tourists, including lots of American tourists, noticed. Take this family from Rhode Island. And what are you doing on the Canadian side as opposed to the New York side? Tell me. Well, when I went to AAA, they said there were, was a lot more attractions on this side, so that's why we decided to come over here. Joe Stamp and his wife are from Florida. They spent most of their time during their visit to the falls on the Canadian side. <coughs> had uh, great dinner, great service, and a spectacular view. We've gone to the Butterfly Garden, spent pretty much four hours there. We've gone across the river on the trolley ride. Does it frustrate you to see what's going on across the border? Yeah, I think it's any mayor of Niagara Falls, New York, would have to have very little pride not to be frustrated at some points. One of the problems that we have is that once you get outside of the state park, we don't have enough family-oriented attractions here in downtown Niagara Falls. And people so, have so many options, and they have so many choices. We can't afford, one, not to advertise to them, to market to them, and then to give them a quality product when they come here. One of the very few tourist attractions in Niagara Falls, New York, is the Seneca Niagara Casino, which opened almost six years ago. Brian Hansberry is the CEO. We have to have other attractions. I mean, you can't live on the casino alone. You just can't do that. In addition to the lack of attractions, the lack of quality hotel rooms is another big problem for Niagara Falls, New York. In the summertime, I think of one of the reasons that uh, uh, people are going over to the falls, um, uh, to the Canadian side, is they have newer, nice hotels over there. If your hotel rooms are all booked on any given weekend during the summer, you know, you can't welcome any more visitors into your city. You know, well, how, how tragic uh, is that? And so Niagara Falls finds itself stuck in a classic chicken or egg scenario. Will the hotels come without the attractions needed to draw tourists here? Or will developers take a chance on the falls without the necessary hotel rooms? If you were the mayor on the other side of the bridge, what's some of the first things you would do? Uh, getting the interest of the, uh, of the developer is the key. How do you go about doing that? Um, establishing confidence, uh, getting, uh, getting uh, uh, people to look at the city and the potential, showing them what we have, showing them exactly physically what's here. It just takes the one start, one developer to make that commitment to begin the process. And I think that uh, once that happens, then others will pick up. This is a two-on-your-side special, Niagara Falls, a tale of two cities.